Hey everybody, this is Mark with My Whistle and Flute. You may be familiar with my channel, you may be new to it, but thanks for watching this video. I hope you stick around to the end. I've been making PVC flutes and whistles for about a year and a half now. I'm a self-taught musician. I dabble in all kinds of different instruments, but I really loved the idea of having an Irish flute, and I couldn't afford one. So I found some plans that were free on the internet. I made my first flute. It was pretty horrendous, uh, but I made it, and I continued to work at it and refine it and uh, performed with it a couple of times in my uh, at my local church and decided maybe other people would like these. Now there are a lot of guys out there making them and so I didn't think, I didn't know what would, uh, what would come of it but uh, now a little over a year and a half later I've sold over 150 flutes and whistles in various um, scales and keys and sizes um, uh, across the ocean, Norway, Finland, parts of the UK, France, Spain, the Philippines, Taiwan, and uh, a good number, uh, 28 or 29 of the U.S. states. I'm only saying that to say thank you to all of those people who have helped me, who have uh, purchased one of my whistles and one of my flutes. Now, my favorite of all of them, and the reason I got into it, was so that I could have my very own affordable low D Irish whistle. I always, uh, not whistle, excuse me, my low D Irish flute. I always wanted one, but they're quite expensive. And while PVC is no exact substitute for a well-made, well-crafted Irish flute, I still hope to have one someday. I am very happy that my skill level and uh, the different performings that I do, the PVC flute has been a great one practice instrument and performing instrument. So I have one here. This one is made out of a solid green. Um, it's not painted. It's a solid green PVC, uh, Schedule 40 PVC, and I use a, a cork. Um, right, it's right flush up with the end there. There's a tuning cork in there. Um, I use a wedge in the sound uh, in the head joint there to, to make this uh, sound chamber here more uh, uh, conical rather than cylindrical. Um, so that helps with the tuning in the second octave. And then it has the traditional uh, six holes. Put some decorative bindings on it. I have my uh, the, the logo of my company, My Whistle and Flute, on there. And what's so special about this one is this one was actually returned to, to me. Now, My Whistle and Flute, I decided that I was going to have a guarantee that just couldn't be beaten. And I didn't know how it would go. My guarantee at My Whistle and Flute is this. If for any reason you're not satisfied with your flute or whistle, within 14 days, just contact me and I will immediately refund your purchase plus shipping costs. And you don't even have to return the flute or whistle. And I do that because if you have to return the whistle or flute to me in order to get a refund, it costs you money to do that. So you can throw it away, you could keep it, you can use it to swat flies, you can give it to a friend. And when I did that, some people said, you're gonna get taken advantage of. I don't think so. Musicians are good people. If you like music, for the most part, musicians are really a great community. Now, in 100, over 150 flutes and whistles that I've sold, I've had six returned. This is one of them. This is one that somebody said, I don't like it, I'd like to return it. No worries, I'm not gonna argue with them. I just immediately refunded their money. And I said, you don't have to send it back, but they said, no, I wanna send it back to you. So they did. When I got it, I took it and I played it. And I said, I kinda like this one. I like all the flutes and whistles I send out. So I decided this was gonna be my personal flute that I was going to take and that I was going to play. And I've had this everywhere. I've had this out in the woods with me. I've performed at uh, some um, uh, some uh, camp chapels this summer. Uh, I've performed uh, in my town. I performed in my church. I played around the house. I played so much my wife is tired of hearing about it. I've used it in several of the music videos that I've produced on another channel. And I wanted to play it for you here. I wanted you to hear it, make the decision for yourself. Now. We are in the middle of a heat wave here in New England. Today, which is the end of August, August 29th, the heat index is over 100 today. That is hot for Maine, very hot. So I have the air conditioner running and I apologize in advance for any background noise that you may be able to hear with that air conditioner. But if I turned it off, I would be drenched in sweat inside of 20 minutes. So my apologies for that. But I am also going to add just a little bit of after effect reverb 
to this so that you can hear um, the beauty of these flutes because my favorite place to play is a place where I can have reverb either when the either that the flute is miked or I'm playing it in a place where there's some natural echo but they sound I think just as nice without it so maybe I'll play a couple of the songs with reverb and a couple of them without and let you decide for yourself but I don't actually have these low D uh, flutes listed on my Etsy site anymore because um, if I was going to have a problem, it was with these low Ds because people had such high expectations, maybe too high. So I make every effort to tune them to concert pitch, but changes in elevation and temperature can affect that, and these are non-tunable. So with the limitations being what they are, I can still play this along with my guitar. I can play it along with other concert tuned instruments. I've used this one to play a, fl a flute and piano duet with my wife. As long as the temperature is right in a temperature controlled environment, it's not too hot, it's not too cold, somewhere in the, in the, in the low 70s or high 60s, low 70s, it works just fine. And there are some things that you can do to adjust the, the tune sharp or flat based on your playing as well. I'm not trying to convince you it's a good product. I believe it is. That's why I sell it, and that's why I offer the guarantee that I do. But I wanted to play it for you anyway. So enough talking. Let me skip to that. So let me for, first. Uh, the first one I want to play is uh, um, Shenandoah. It's a beautiful song. Now I'm playing just off the top of my head, I, so I may make a few mistakes here and there, and I hope you'll forgive me. If you don't, give me a thumbs down, and that'll be all right. That's the beauty of YouTube. Sitting right there on your computer, you can give me a thumbs down because it stinks. But I hope you like it. Hope you enjoy it. And if you do, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment and let me know. So this is Shenandoah on a PVC low D Irish flute. See, I think that sounds nice. I love Shenandoah. So how about an Irish tune? It's an Irish flute. The Parting Glass. Uh, this is a quintessential, I think, a quintessential Irish um, tune. I'm not Irish. I'm American. But I do love Irish music. Part of the reason I wanted a low D flute. Let me give you an idea of the Parting Glass on the low D. <laughs> But uh, I think it's foggy dew. A little bit more responsive, a little bit more peppy and upbeat. <laughs> Got an alarm clock going off on my watch here. Hope you enjoyed that. So uh, I think that's Foggy Do. I think that's the right tune. If it's not, let me know. Um, and I'll stop calling it Foggy Do. Um, how about, um, what have I done here? 
done. Oh, one of the great things about these low D flutes is, again, it's in the key of D. It can also play in the key of G just by starting on the G note, okay? There is a alternate fingering by leaving the top hole uncovered and covering the second, third, and fourth. It um, produces a an F, let's see if I get this right, produces a, let me see here, D, E, F, G, A, C. I'm gonna get this wrong. C sharp? No, no, I'm sorry. It produces a C natural. I'll get it. I'm sorry. I'm thinking on the go here. It produces a C, uh, a, a C natural, which allows you to play in the key of G. In the key of D, we have a G sharp and um, a C, no, a C, I'm going to get this wrong. A C sharp and an F sharp. In the key of G, uh, there is uh, on, there is only an F sharp, not a C sharp. Anyway, I think I got that right. I'll have to go back and watch the video, but I think that's right. Anyway, so this alternate fingering allows you to do that. So. Um, if I just played from octave uh, to octave using G without the alternate fingering, um, there would be an added sharp, so it wouldn't sound right. It would sound like this. So you can hear it's not quite right. Using the alternate fingering, I get this. So um, I can play in the key of G, major or in the key of D major. I can also play in the Dorian mode. So on D, going to the next one up, um, that uh, then I and the E, I can use that and I can play Scarborough Fair in the Dorian mode starting on the E. Here we go. So, all kinds of possibilities with a simple piece of PVC tuned in the in a, in a D for a low D Irish flute. Now, uh, let's see here. How about something how about a, a religious uh, Amazing Grace? That's pretty popular. A lot of people know that. So that's several songs, just right off the top of my head, with a simple piece of PVC made into, lovingly and carefully, made into a low D Irish flute. A lot of guys out there making PVC flutes, probably some making them better than me, but there isn't anybody that works any harder at it than I do. They may work hard at it, and they may work as hard as I do, but I promise I put all of the love and detail and attention that I can into one of my flutes, and I stand behind them 100% money back. I don't make PVC flutes and whistles to get rich. You're not gonna get rich selling them for what I sell them for. That's not the reason. I wanted to make an affordable option for people who wanted flutes and whistles, some in exotic scales, so that people could enjoy music without breaking the bank. And I wanted to share the low D Irish flute with you because it's one of my favorites. It's the reason I got into doing it and it's still my passion. I hope you enjoyed those songs. You know, I think I might end up just leaving the um, the reverb off of them all. I'm not sure, I'll have to see how I feel with post-production. 
but I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment, let me know. Again, give me a thumbs down if you want to. That's okay, if you don't like it, no reason for you to lie and put a thumbs up if it made you miserable. Of course, then I'm not sure why you're still watching, but I hope to see you around YouTube. Uh, send me a message, reach out, let me know. If there's any way, anything I can do, any instrument that I can make for you, or a question that you have, please let me know. I'm here to answer those. All right, guys, again, this is Mark with My Whistle and Flute at mywhistleandflute.com or mywhistleandflute.etsy.com. And I'll see you around the shop.